times. Well, you never, <laughs> ever get fucking vehicles coming up and down here. This, this is the drive to where we're going today. Some of you might recognise it. I fish this place sometimes, but I love this drive up here. It's lovely. It just makes you feel like you're going right out in the wilderness. Hey new fans, we're back and we've got unfinished business at Milton Lake because we got bust up big star last time. Look at the obligatory, all that in the margins. isn't really a hunt for anything it's just to see what we get it'd be nice to get a cruising nice to get some tench whatever let's we'll see what we can get fingers crossed we're getting some fish with the geese here and mental we've got lobworms we've got some prawns died and predator mix the same old ground bait as we had before and there was a geese yay is now uh, 10 past 12 we've been here since 11 we've had one proper bump on the prawn down the side <coughs> and uh, yeah one touch on the float 
one tiny little bite, but it's probably going to be like last time. It picks up in the afternoon. We've got a guy just to our left. He's fishing super fine on the pole. And so far he's had one and rud. So things are going to pick up. Things will pick up. First bite, proper bite of the day, and we're in. Don't know what it is. It's not a carp, it might be a cruisian, it might be a small tench. Let's have a look, see what we got. Yeah, it's our fucking target species, it's a cruisian, baby. This is what we came for. I love these little fish, man. Love them. Look at this bad boy. Little slab of gold. Target species done. Oh, look at you, you little beauty. Oh, yes. Here we go. Get some air in there, buddy. I'm going to get a little picture of you. My beauty, you know my beauty. Okay, and you just a stunning, most stunning, beautiful little fish. Yeah, baby. We've got this guy here to the left of us. He's on a pole, so fishing super fine. What's your name, fella? Dave. Nice to meet you, Dave. Mark. He's had a few this morning. Hopefully the fish will come on to feed. It was on maggots this morning, he was going up to the and then yeah, it just goes like that, I suppose. It does, doesn't it? It does get better in the afternoon, I think though. Last week it seemed to. Yeah, but I'm fishing over there these all the afternoon sessions a lot Tell the top feeders because the mouth and curves up, so they definitely fish off the top.
over and again, guys. Stand down, could be another cruising. Reckon he's it's a nice one as well. Species number two, it's about the same size, you know, maybe a bit bigger than the past one. Oh. Hey? Yeah, nice one. Cut power nearly. So <laughs> I was hoping, I put it up there, hoping to get a bite and it into one. As soon as I take it off, get one. This is beautiful fish. Little bars of gold. Look at them. It's absolutely cracking. Look at that. Come on, darling. Yeah, okay. And tell me when you're ready. Bye. Happy to meet you. Oh, you guys, we're in again. It's another cruising. It's a real quality fish. I don't think about having a net on the other side. It's another one. We got them feeding in the swim. Which is a good thing. We won't film. Take pictures of this one. It's only a tiddly. Tiddle up. All coming on single grades of corn. say it would rain about three o'clock today. It's nothing too much to worry about. Don't need the waterproofs yet or the umbrella. Four past three, they weren't far out. Nothing to worry about though. Quite nice. Well, the bite seems to have dried up a little bit. He says as he gets a lift by. I tell you what, I hope it's pissing down in Rygate because my lawn really needs a bloody watering. I think in a minute I'm going to lob out a load more ground bait, some more corn in it, and the rest of the hemp, and just sit over it for three hours or so. Just not put any more bait in, just chuck all that in. It might overfeed them, it might bring them in and make them not worry about what they're eating. I'll think about it. Tent, I reckon you.
Definitely a better fish, isn't it? Definitely a better fish. Tension it. Well, your pellet worked well. Yeah, straight back on sweet corn. Was it? Literally just popped over the sweet corn. Oh, I thought that was a decent tension. <laughs> well, finally, we just had something to take the worm. I don't know what it is, I think it's a bream, not a perch. I don't know. Let's see what we got. It's a nice size brain. That's a cracker. A uh, nice brain. Yeah. On a worm. Brain. Baby. Hold up. This ain't no cruising. Oh, it's come out of there. I think we got ourselves a tench. Oh, there it is. It's another cruising. Fish and it's come right in under our feet. See if it comes out. Oh, that's a bugger. but it took off. Tent. Here 
Jeez. You ain't getting in there, boy. Nope. <clears throat> That's another cracker. It's a nice tench. Yeah. Four, maybe. That's a cracking fish. It's not as big as my last one. I still think it's three and a half to four pound. Really long fish. Good baby. You tell me when you want to go. See you later. Just big enough to swing it. Yeah. Nice rod. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Fish are on the feet, baby. In again, guys. The fuck off! I'd lost it. It came running towards me. It's another tench. <laughs> Staying down. Don't you go over there, baby. Nope. Nope. Well, looking at the slime all over the line. That was another tinch. We've been slimed, baby. Look at that. It's dropped another good tinch. Hey. He's been slammed. Back <laughs> out there. That's better. Uh, elastic. Dives into a nice fish. They really have come on the feed. The elastic's bloody way out. Staying deep. Reckon it's another tench and a big one. Let me go over and have a look in a minute. The elastic's pulling way out. Tension it. Oh, 
people it's nearly the end of the session it's now 20 past five we've had loads of fish loads of them we're nearly out of bait as well and i think this is another cruise and we're out of ground bait we're at, down to our last few bits of corn so i think we're probably going to fish until about half six oh it's a normal carp it's five different species today it's a normal one a little what oh no it's a cruising hello baby oh you look like you've got tiger stripes on you hello my darling let me get that out of you quickly and you can go back there we go you pretty thought you were a wildy there you go my darling see you later um yeah see we're still catching fish um I'll give it about another 40 minutes or so and then we're going to shoot off because I is Ank Marvin but, um, yeah the fish turned on probably properly turned on about half two three o'clock and it's been fucking fish after fish can't knock it brilliant <clears throat> so yeah we're running out of bait Bloody rad on then. All right. So yeah, I'll do a roundup at, in a little while. All right. Well, I've just had something take a worm again. I think it's another clunky. It's another bream. At least these are proper bream, not the fucking little shitty things that cover you in slime. These are real ones. Yeah, lovely golden bream. Look at that bad boy, what a beautiful fish. That's a cracker. last cast with the lead and we're gonna put on I think we've got an earthworm left we've had to both of those lovely bream on these worms which have survived remarkably well you can go on there baby just like that what are we gonna do I'm gonna pump it up you ready for that and now I'll keep chuck him out like that and all we're doing a little half ounce bomb there all we're doing when the duck goes just plopping it there because these are actually meant for perch There's one, there's usually more. <laughs> Look at that little bumper. Look, there's, there's little, little geese everywhere. How many have you got? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got eight, by me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over there. My days. Only past six and it's about time that I go home. So this will be the last fish on this rod. And I think it's another tench. I don't know. 
And this will be the last one, then we'll start back. Oh my god, it's all kicking off. Both rods are fucking going. The bream have moved in. I must admit, these bream do hang on. You, my friend, I'm the last one on the waggler for the day. I'll take the air, there we go. These bring my clunkers. Really lovely quality fish. Not covered in fucking slime. Just nice, quality fucking fish. And you come off in a net. Thank you, mate. See you later. Well, that's it for the float set up today. It's time to go home. I'm hungry. So I'll leave that out while just while I'm packing this up. Well, we did have a little touch on that. That's a second ago. Anyway. That's nearly it guys. Well people, what can I say? Uh, <coughs> excuse me, asthma and all that. Wow. Um, yeah, we got a target species, like 10 of them cruising. The biggest was about two pound. Um, we also had tench of about four pound. We had some bream up to about two and a half. Lovely bream, nice bream, golden ones, not the slimy little fuckers. And then loads of rud. Biggest probably about six or seven ounces, but still cracking like ornamental fish. Gorgeous fishing. If you're sitting at home and you're thinking, God, I just can't be asked to go. That's what I did this morning, and I'm bloody glad I did. Fantastic days fishing. Um, yeah, so, if you are watching these, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. I should keep doing them. Um, if my rods are back from the rod builder, my sea rods, then the next one will probably be sea fishing. But if not, I'm, the mayflies are out, and it's matched the hat, so I might even go into a truck now. Chuck a bit of fluff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's really appreciated. 